Oh my god, hello YouTube! Welcome to my F2P account review. I have built this F2P account for the last year and a half. Pretty much year and a half, I think. I have finally hit AR60, which means I need to pick up my Adventure Rank Awards, which is amazing. Wow! Three Acquaint Fates, 150 Primo Gems, two Fragile Resins, three Mystic Enhancement Ores, and 21 Heroes Wits. Isn't that incredible? Don't you guys think that Genshin is so generous with our rewards? Incredible. Watch as I get absolutely nothing. Look at this. Nah, five star right here. Okay. Average AR60 experience, by the way. Anyways, I'm glad to finally have hit AR60. I just hit AR60 today, and we're gonna be looking at all of the stuff I have on my free-to-play account that I've built over 1.5 years. Uh, as you guys know, I am only a bit of a whale on my main account. I have two C6 five-star characters. I have multiple characters, a lot of five-star weapons, but when you're a free-to-play, you are obviously severely limited by your resources and by money because you can't spend money, right? And you also can't resin refill, which is obviously a big part of getting artifacts. So yeah, let me just cover what I have roughly on my free to play account. I've been playing this account for one and a half years. I am AR60. My weapons list, as you can see, is not very big very little five star weapons and artifacts i also don't have that many artifacts compared to my main you can see it only stops around here um but yeah fake amber main i am a bit of fake amber main let's move on to the character reviews over the course of why do you have nuvelet signature i accidentally pulled that uh okay over the course of one and a half years i have built 26 Almost 27 characters. I am working on Tignari. I'll show my Tignari stats, but he's not built yet because he's not leveled. So as you can see, again, I don't have that many five-star characters. My only limited five-star characters are Yelan, Kazuha, Kokomi, Zhongli, Sino, Ayaka, Venti, and Wanderer. So those are my only limited five-stars. So not a lot. Is that a lot? Chat, is that a lot for an F2P? I don't know. Why are you including the three-star unit? We'll get to him later. I think, um, I think we'll go over the, um, five-star units first. Then we'll go over to the four-star units. So let's first cover my main on this account, aka Yelan. Uh, Yelan is my main on this account. So I do play her the most of any character on this account. Uh, she is C C1R1, as you can see, she has a signature. Constellation 1, which I really, really like. And if you guys saw my previous video on my Yelan, my build has changed a little bit since then. So right now, her build looks like this. 96% crit rate, 236% crit damage, 155 ER, but that's because of Zephos. I think she has 148. Uh, but yeah, for Emblem, so her artifacts look like this. This is a pretty perfect piece. Pretty good piece. Could have been better, but still pretty good. And this is my highest crit value artifact, my Hydro Goblet. And then this circle, it's only okay. So she has 242 crit value in her artifacts. So she is one of my best, maybe my best build character on this account. So let me just breeze through Yelan. That's Yelan. Pretty solid. Uh, I really like playing her. She's my favorite character to play on this account. And if I had gotten her on my main account, I probably would have C6. <laughs> okay, moving on. Kazwa. Kazwa is very easy to build. He's currently using a Refinement 2, Zephos Moonlight. He's Constellation 0. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention my Yelan's Triple Crown. Say her name in Chinese? Uh, Yelan. Why do you want me to say her name in Chinese? Why why, why, why do you want me to bring it in Chinese, bro? Nah, Yelan. <laughs> I'm saying Yelan. Okay, okay, moving on, moving on. Okay, next up is uh, Kazaha. Kazaha is running a Refinement 2, Zephos Moonlight. He is Constellation 0. Talon 6, 7, 8. I don't invest much into my Kazwa here. Uh, artifacts are 4 piece Veridescent Venera. He has 982 Elemental Mastery with 226% energy recharge, so I have completely zero ER problems. Uh, I think my Kazwa is pretty solid. Uh, but yeah, uh, Kazwa is very basic. I think if you're building Kazwa, like that's all you need. You just need ER and EM. So I don't know. It's not that hard. Okay, moving on. Let's We'll breeze through this. This is going to be a quick video, okay? Next up, Sangonomiya Kokomi. The character I love to hate on because I really don't like this character. She's good, but I don't like this character. Uh, she has the prototype Amber, Ocean Hue Clam, it's Constellation Zero. Talents are 287. 
I was thinking about giving her another talent level, but she heals so much that I feel like it's not necessary. Uh, yeah, stats. 37,000 HP. Uh, this with Hydro Resonance. I think without, she has 30... 34,000 or so? With 158 ER. Yeah, I have no Mora, okay? Uh, look, I'm broke. Uh, I have... So I have 158 ER on her, so pretty good amount, even though I'm not running an ER Sands. So uh, I didn't show my Kazos artifacts, but I don't think you need to see it. Uh, this, tons of ER, this ER HP, this, oh, this is nothing. What the fu- Uh, ER, I did opt for a Hydro Goblet instead of a, a an HP Goblet, because honestly, I don't really need that much HP. I don't need that much healing. I don't mind getting a bit more damage on Kokomi. And then healing bonus with a ton of HP, and then some energy recharge. That's my Kokomi! Moving on, we have... <laughs> Let me just... Give me like two seconds. We have Zhongli. Zhongli, as you guys know, my favorite character in Genshin Impact. He is pretty well built. I do have the... Okay, I have the correct weapon on him. So right now he's on his... This is not his regular build. Let me just change this back uh, to his actual regular build. There we go. Zhongli skin looks so good. Yeah, it does. They should make it a skin. I would buy it. Anyways, this is my Zhongli. He is currently running the Favonius Lance. Constellation is zero. And he is the only double crown character on this account. So Ye Lan is my only triple crown. Zhongli is my only double crown. He is running four tenacity. Uh, and I, I am running the HP Geo crit setup. So HP Geo crit. No black tassel. Yeah, because black tassel is fucking dog shit. Uh, th these are my Zhongli artifacts. Pretty, pretty good flower. Pr really good feather. F what? I didn't even know I had this. Uh, pretty good sands. Pretty good goblet. Oh, look at the... Look at this! <laughs> Wait, no way! Wait, there's no way! I didn't plan that, by the way. I'm just saying. The music just played by itself. And then, um... We have a crit circlet that's also pretty good. So total, he has... Around 230 plus crit value in artifacts. And his stats, 77% crit rate, 137% crit damage with 135 ER. Most of that ER is coming from the Favonius Lance. So yes, this is my standard Zhongli setup. If I do want him to be a bit more tanky, I do run him on an HP goblet, which I have. Let me just swap to it. This one. And now his build looks like this, 76, 137, very similar. But now he has 38,000 HP. So this is my shield build, uh, Zhongli. All right, moving on. We have Wandra, one these nuts, as I like to call him. Or as I named him, he's on Among Us. He is C0. Talents, 1098. He does have a refinement too, too late to last, because I got one, I got one like really early and I decided to refine it. Artifacts are 2 piece Viridescent. And 2B is Gladiators. You might ask why I'm not running... First, I'm not running his signature. I'm not running... Sorry, I'm not running uh, Desert Pavilion because I didn't farm that domain at all because it's a shit domain. And why am I not running for Shiminawas? It's because I actually do like to use Wanderer's Burst at the start of the rotation. So because of that, I don't like 4P Shiminawas on this account. I do run 4P Shiminawas on my main account, on my Wanderer, but not on, th not on this account. So his artifacts... 84 to 13 which is 240 crit value. Why did you refine it? Uh, because there's no reason for me to not. There's no one else that I have that would ever use this weapon. Does he get a burst damage increase without his hat? No, he doesn't. You're talking about using his burst without his skill, without flying? No, he doesn't get any extra damage. Only at C2. At C0, no. C0, C0 you don't get any bonus damage. Anyways. Uh, these are my artifacts. 45 crit value, flower. Uh, 30... 37 crit value, feather. I'm trying to math. This is... 39. This is... 37. And then this is just like crit damage. So yeah, my Wander is pretty solidly built. I used to use him a lot, but I realized I don't use him anymore. Just because I've... He's not that good! He's just not that good of a character. I mean, he's fine if you have Zhongli. But if you don't have Zhongli, like, it's kind of... Oof, you know? As, especially in Abyss. Outside of Abyss, who cares? But in Abyss, kind of a struggle. Okay, next up, Venti. Uh, I I don't even know 
if it was worth pulling Venti even till this day. I use Venti a lot in Abyss 9 to 11, but I really don't use a like Venti that much anymore. Anyways, his weapon is Refinement 2 Stringless. He's on 4-piece Viridescent. Constellation is 0. Talon's 168. So I didn't invest that much into him. The stats. 62 crit rate. 110 crit damage. 175% ER. I do think his ER is a bit low. I feel like Venti needs like 200% ER. Otherwise, it's just a bit difficult. But it's because I didn't farm that much for him. Like my artifacts for this character are really bad. Like look at this shit. That's bad. That's pretty good. It's pretty bad. That's actually quite good. And this is... Oh, look at that defense, bro. Yeah, so I didn't invest much into Venti. Just because I don't think Venti is that worth investing in. So yeah, that's my Venti. Okay, anyways, moving on. Ayaka. One of the earliest characters on this account. I don't know if you guys know, but way back in the day, one of my earliest stream highlights for Genshin Impact was me farming artifacts for Ayaka. And Jasper in the chat, yeah, you were there helping me for that when I was AR45. So anyways, this is my Ayaka. I still do use her to this day, just not as much anymore. Uh, just because most of the time if I can, I, I usually play Yelan. But if not, I, like, I would use Ayaka in the other side of the Abyss. Weapon is the Misplitter Reforged, 4-piece Blizzard. Constellation 0. Talents are 9, 9, and 10. So I did invest quite a bit. And her stats, 2.2, almost 2.3k attack. 42% crit rate. 220% crit damage. 133% ER. Uh, you might look at her ER and... Sorry, not her ER. You might look at her crit damage and think, wow, that crit damage is really low for someone with Misplitter. And the reason is because... I am running an attack percent circlet. Ayaka doesn't have that many ways to get attack percent buffs. Unless you're stupid and you decide to play Bennett. Uh, there's not really that many ways to get buffs for her. So I have used a crit damage hat and I've used an attack percent hat. And almost every time the attack percent hat has come out on top because I have Miss Splitter. Miss Splitter helps out a lot. So I choose to use an attack percent circlet. So these are my Ayaka artifacts. They have, most of them have not changed in the past year. So yeah, just whale for shit. <laughs> Shut up. 27% uh, crit damage, 11% ER. 30% crit rate, 12% ER. I do need that ER. I have higher crit value pieces, but the ER is very important. People who play Ayaka with like no ER. Dude, you guys have just built a shit Ayaka. You'll never get your fucking burst back. Uh, Attack percent. This has not changed as well. I've had this piece forever. Cryo damage goblet. This is ER. I sacrificed my crit for more ER. So I actually had more crit value on my... Cryo Goblet, but I chose to not run that. And this one, 40 crit value, attack percent circlet. You guys might already know, but I hate playing Ayaka. <laughs> I don't like playing this character, but she's pretty good. So that's my Ayaka. All right, everyone. Everyone's favorite. As you guys might know, I am a very, very big Sino hater. Not of the character. The character is cool. I think Sino is actually a very cool character. However, he is a terrible DPS. He is one of, if not the worst five star, limited five star DPS right now in the game. He has so many problems. He has ER problems. He has inflexible playstyles. He cannot be swapped off. So he cannot be playing quick swap, which is very important for someone who is ER hungry, right? And his damage is low, even with highly investment builds and with his signature weapon. It just cannot compete with most other teams. And in the Hyper Bloom team, in Sino's best Hyper Bloom team, it performs better when you take out Sino. So, Sino has a lot of problems. I do use him every once in a while, but it's more of like a, hey, I just feel like using him, not because he's good. He's just bad. And you might know, my Sino is very, very highly invested. He does have his signature, Staff of Scarlet Sands, Four Piece Gilded, Constellation Zero, and he is single crown. I did give him one crown. Before I show you my stats, let me show you my artifacts. Okay. Sino has the best artifacts on this account. Flower, 40 crit value with ER. Feather, almost 40 crit value. Sands, probably my worst piece on here, but it is more than 30 crit value with ER. Electro Goblet, 40 crit value with EM. Circlet, 13% crit rate with EM. You might already be able to tell, but he's very highly invested. 242 crit value. 243 crit value on my Sino. So his stats are actually very good. 
100% crit rate, 229% crit damage, 300 EM. His ER is a bit low, yes, but normally I'm playing with Fischl, so with Fischl it's not so bad. So yes, my Sino is very well built. Dude, this character sucks, man. He's so bad. Why is he so bad? Okay, next up, who do we have? Diluc. Okay, let me just breeze through Diluc. Diluc's easy. Your Raiden looks like Razor. Shut the f*** up, man. Alright, Diluc. I don't play Diluc anymore. Uh, not on this account, anyway. Weapon is the prototype. <laughs> okay. That's how you know I don't play Diluc, by the way. Because I don't even give him any other better weapons. Uh, he is running 4-piece Crimson Witch of Flames. Constellation is 2. What? Constellation 2? I didn't even know I had Constellation 2. Talents 888. Let me show his artifacts first. Pretty decent flower. Really good feather. Okay sands. Okay goblet, because it's a crit, right? And then kind of a copium circlet. My dear look is 7168 with no ER. 100 EM. I don't give this guy any chances anymore. I think he sucks. Let's do Mona. Mona. I still use Mona a lot, by the way, guys. You guys might think I don't use Mona anymore. I still use Mona quite a lot. Our uh, weapon is... Uh, I don't normally use this. I just had to use this for something. Normally, I have it on TTDS. Four Emblem. Constellation 1. Talents 1 for 8. And let me just breeze through my Mona's artifacts. I got this. This. Wow, what the heck? That's good. This. Attack percent goblet. I use attack percent goblet because I'm using TTDS. So her attack is really, really low. So you need an attack percent goblet in order to make up for it. It, it performs better than, than, than a hydro damage goblet. If you use an ER sense and TTDS, you need to use an attack percent goblet. And then crit. So my Mona, 63, 131, 218 ER. So it ends up being close to 200 crit value, but a little bit shy. Lastly, my unbuilt Tignari. He's not fully built yet. Three Weapon is the three-star slingshot. <laughs> I hate this weapon, but it's what I have. Gilded Dreams. Constellation Zero. Talents are not fully leveled yet. Build is 74, 175. So he has a little bit over 200 crit value. 202 crit value. 203. Yeah, build is... He has a really, really good flower. Not very good feather. Okay sands. Pretty good goblet. And then, not great circle. So yeah, that's my Tegnari. Ooh. Oh, should I go through DMC? DMC. Let's do DMC as the last 5 star. She's on Dendro right now, because I still play her that- I still play her on Dendro the most. Uh, weapon is the Favonius. Refinement 3, I don't have refinements on this. Deep Wind Memories, C6. And 21011. So I did put quite a lot of resources into her. So stats 66, 109 with 200. 40% ER. So build is not great. But I did focus a lot on ER. So this is a lot of ER. This is a lot of crit. Whoa! I didn't know I had that. What the freak? Okay, that's really good. This has this this is whatever. This is okay. And then I got this. So that's my DMC. Okay. Moving on to the four stars. How many four stars do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give me that. What the ER sends? Yeah, the ER sends is pretty good. Okay, let's do. Let's do the four stars. Let's do Bennett. So Bennett is such a good character. He is so good. So I still play him a lot, just not as much anymore. Nowadays, I don't get that much of a chance to play Bennett unless I'm playing Wanderer. He's running the four piece noblesse oblige. Constellation is 6. Yes, you heard me. Constellation 6. I won't rant again about how good C6 Bennett is. At this point, if you still think C6 Bennett is bad, you're just an idiot. Like, actually. He is crowned. One of the few 4-star crowns I've given. Weapon is the Aquila Favonia, aka his best in slot. And his stats, 238... Sorry, 236% ER, 58 crit rate, 110% crit damage. And he is running a Pyro Damage Goblet. Yeah, exactly. L C6 Bennett haters. If you think ben C6 Bennett's bad, you are actually stupid. Yeah, he has a lot of ER. It's mostly just ER stuff. ER. Every piece is ER. Yeah. Bennett's very easy to build. ER. That's it. <laughs> ER. And then if you're highly invested, give him crit. Because he can actually do good damage. Um, but yeah. That's my Bennett stats. Yo, what do people normally give him? Healing bonus? HP percent? Oh, damn, all of you Bennets are really stinky. What the f*** are y'all doing with your Bennets, bro? Damn, your Bennets are stinky as shit. Me? <laughs> Ew. 
Okay, next up. Let's do Fischl. Nowadays, I use Fischl a lot more when I play Sino. If not, I don't really use Fischl that much, but I still like playing Fischl, uh, even though I don't like this character. I ain't gonna farm no bless, bro. Just strongbox that shit. What do you mean? Okay. Weapon is a refinement five stringless? Wait, I had a refinement five? Oh, I gave the shitty refinement two one to Venti. <laughs> so refinement five stringless. Four piece golden troop. Just so you know, my four piece golden troop on this account is better than my main account. My main account's golden troop is not as good. Constellation is five. Unfortunately, I did not get C6. I really, really, really wanted C6, but I couldn't. And talents, 1, 11, 10. Let me just go through my stats. Pretty, this is basically a perfect piece. I think this is a perfect piece. Uh, this is a, whoa, this is a really good piece too. These are all better than my main <laughs> golden troop pieces. Still a 30 crit value sense. That's a dog. That's really good. Electro Goblet. This is on set. Look at this. This is on set. Electro Damage Goblet for my fish roll. And then crit rate. I use this hat with a lot of EM, decent crit damage, and attack percent. Crit value is 224. 224 crit value. So the stats are actually quite good. 80, 124 with 273 EM. So she has a lot of EM. So yeah, my fish on this account is actually better built than my main account's fish roll. That being said, she does have a 4-star weapon, so, you know. If you're a broke boy, just say so! <laughs> Let's do... Sing Cho, because I use Sing Cho a lot. Weapon is a refinement for sacrificial sword. 4-piece emblem, as usual. C5 as well. Dude, what is the C5 curse? Where's my C6s, man? Talents, 1, 9, 12. This is actually higher than my main account, because I don't use Sing Cho much on my main account. Stats, 60, 130, 224 ER. So pretty solid, but the crit rate is a bit low. This is a really good flower. This is a not great feather. Pretty good sands. Not good, not good goblet. And then pretty okay circlet. Yeah, no C6. So yeah. You know what? It's fine. My Synchro does his job. All he needs to do is battery up my Yeland and still do good damage while doing so. So honestly, my Synchro does his job. Okay, next. Let's do Xiangling. The good old Opa. My Xiangling on this account is actually very, very, very similarly built to my main account. My main account Xiangling and this account Xiangling are like almost the same stats. Weapon is the catch, of course. For emblem. C2 only, unfortunately. I don't... I haven't gotten that many constellations on the character banners because Xiangling has not appeared on any of the character banners that I really wanted. And then she is... I think I'm going to crown. I think I actually will crown my Xiangling. So maybe down the line, I'll crown her. So her build, really good flower. Uh, wow, really good feather as well. This is 37 curve value. Okay, sands, but this is a lot of ER, so it's hard to complain. I actually need this. This is actually a perfect piece for me. This goblet might look bad, but it's actually good because it has crit rate, which is what I need. And it has the ER that I need as well. So this is actually a good piece for me. And it's on set. This is my circlet. Circlet is pretty good too. Crit damage, ER, and attack percent. So my Xiangling is 73, 140 with 211 ER. And the reason why I say 73 is because you get 12% crit rate from the catch. Overall, pretty good stats. Uh, I don't use Xiangling as much on this account anymore, but every once in a while I'll throw her in and she's still pretty good. Then lastly, among the four stars that I use very often, we have Cookie Shinobu. Cookie Shinobu is really only here for Hyper Bloom. So she has a full Hyper Bloom, Hyper Bloom build. Weapon is the Iron Sting. I don't think I have any other EM weapon. I think we have this, but this is kind of whack. Artifact set is 4-piece Gilded Dreams. C4. I would like a C6 someday. And then 1-11-2. Yeah, I did not invest in her burst. No damage. So she has 975 EM. No crit. 127 ER. This is, let me just breeze through artifacts. 82 EM, 89 EM, then EM, EM, EM. Everything's just EM. Oh yeah, and she has 23,000 HP. So she doesn't heal that much, but she does a lot of damage. Who else do I use? Faruzan. As you guys know, I love Faruzan. One of my favorite female characters in this game. I think she's uh, super cute. Thankfully, I didn't have to spend $500 on Faruzan on this account, unlike my main account. <laughs> So I have a pretty okay build. Uh, weapon is the Favonius. She's running 4 emblem because I just had spares. 
Constellation 6. Thank God I had Constellation 6. Holy shit. Imagine if I don't have Constellation 6 on here. Holy. Uh, talents 2, 8, and 12. Um, I might level this more in the future. Then her stats. 62, 110, 255 ER. So because she's C6, I can always get her burst back up. Uh, pretty good flower. Okay feather. Not that good. Energy recharge sands with crit rate. Attack percent goblet with uh, ER. And then ER with uh, on a crit rate hat. That's my Farazan. Pretty simple stuff. I like Farazan. Let's do Kaya. Chat, why did I level Kaya? Why did I level Kaya? Why did I bother building this shit character? He's not even good. He's not even a good character. I don't even know why I built my Kaya. <laughs> Anyways, he has a level 90 Favonius. Four Emblem, as usual. Constellation 1. Talents 179. So I did invest mostly in his burst. Um, I might level his skill as well, but I don't have any books. Stats. S Wait, he actually has good stats. What the frick? 70, 130, 260 ER. Wait, he actually has good stats? Holy shit, he has more than 200. He has more than 200 crit value. Whoa, what the heck? Wait. He, he actually has good stats. Wait, what? I actually gave him good artifacts. This is on set! This is an on set cryo goblet! I'm building my Kaya 2 level 9 alt. What's wrong with level 9? I just gave him level 9. So yeah, my Kaya is actually very solidly built. Holy shit. I didn't even know my Kaya was that well built. I didn't know. I forgot. I don't use him that much. So yeah, that's my Kaya. Focus mainly on his alt, uh, his burst, of course. Because, like, realistically, all you're using Kaya for is his burst. His skill is like whatever. No, ca no one cares. And his normal attack, his normal attack is trash. So yeah. Okay, now we move on to the four stars I don't really use, okay? First up, we have Hazel. <laughs> I used to play Hazel until I got Wanderer, so I don't play Hazel anymore. Weapon is the Lost Prayer to the Sacred Winds. Constellation is 3, 6, 11, 7 talents. Artifacts, 2-piece Shiminawas, 2-piece Viridescent. His build is actually quite good. He has over 200 crit value. His pieces, that's really good. That's 40 crit value. That's really, really good. This is a bad piece. This piece is okay as attack percent. And then this piece is also kind of whatever. That's a pretty solid build. 80, 172, but no ER. That's the only problem. I have no ER on my Hazel. So I kind of need ER. But I don't play Hazel anymore, so it's fine. Like, who still plays Hazel? Like, realistically. He's not that competitive as a DPS. He's not very good. He's only okay as a driver. But even then, it's like, eh. Then we have Sayu. Sayu was the very first healer I built. Because back when I started this account, I didn't have a healer. I didn't have Bennett. I didn't have Kokomi. I really, really needed a healer. And so Sayu was my, <laughs> was my savior. Sayu carried me a lot in the early game. Weapon is the Favonius. Two piece Viridus and two piece attack. Uh, Constellation is one. And one, two, eight talents. I have not used Sayu in a very, 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 very long time. She's only focused on her ER. 246% ER. 1.8k attack. So she is running this with ER and attack. Because she, her, I don't know if you guys know about her healing scales of attack. So you need a lot of attack on her. This is ER. This is attack percent, ER, uh, crit rate. This is attack percent and ER. And this is attack percent. Because I don't have a healing bonus. But yeah, it's my Sayu. And then lastly, oh, we have the last character on here. Finally, we have Yao Yao, who I actually do use, by the way. I actually use Yao Yao on here, just not that much. Weapon is the Favonius, but it's only R1, because that's my only other one. Four piece Deepwood, Constellation 1, 177 talents. And she has 30k HP with 180% ER. Would be more if I level 90 this. So that's my Yaya. My Yaya is very simple. Like literally just a healing build. Just HP and energy recharge. Energy recharge. HP, energy recharge. HP, energy recharge. And then this is healing bonus with energy recharge. So yeah, very simple. So that's my free to play account. Not that many characters, but I would say I invested a decent amount in those that I built. So my Yelan, my Zhongli, my Sino, my Ayaka, my Kazwa. My Wanderer are all very well built, or at least decently built. Then for my four stars, my Fischl is very well built. 
My Shangling is decently built, and you know, the rest are kind of whatever. I am hoping to build Kaching down the line. Um, the problem is I need to strongbox for Thundering Fury, which I don't, which I don't have. So I do plan to build Kaching down the line on this account. But yeah, that's my free to play account. I would say I've invested a good amount into this account over the year and a half I've had it. Generally, I'm quite happy with what I've achieved. And yes, I obviously, obviously I can 36 star the Abyss very consistently. I haven't missed on a 36 star since I think it was 3.6's Abyss that was really difficult. That's about it. But after that, every single Abyss was like piss easy. I could always 36 star. It's not difficult. So I started this account mainly as a way to show that you can completely clear this game, even Spiral Abyss, at a decent level once you're highly invested, even as a free-to-play. Because otherwise, if I only had my main account, people would just think, oh, you're just wailing. So that's why you can clear stuff. But the truth is that Genshin Impact is really easy and you don't have to spend money. You just have to be a bit more careful with your resources and be a bit more picky on what to pull. Because if you pull specific characters properly, you will get through the game like no problem. Even a trash character like Sino, he can clear the abyss. It just takes more work. <laughs> you know? But yeah, that was my free to play account review. I don't even know how long that took. Hope the video's not too long. Holy crap. I don't want to edit too long of a video. Anyways, uh, if you guys would like to check out the stream, it is twitch.tv slash dukc as usual. I stream every week. Check out the stream and I hope you guys enjoyed the account review. Maybe I'll re review my main account soon. Cause it's almost hitting the um almost hitting the two year mark. <laughs> I might review my whale account soon. Alright, thanks for watching. Take care.